Hi, my name is Fabian Butazzi, and in this video, I'll show you how to quickly create luminosity masks in Photoshop without any plugin. Now, if you never heard of luminosity masks before, in a nutshell, they are selections based on tones that allow for specific adjustments to highlights and shadows. They can be an incredibly powerful tool to quickly take your photos to the next level, and I'm going to show you how in the next couple of minutes. So if this is something that may interest you, keep watching, and if it isn't, well, just keep watching. It's only a couple of minutes and it really, really helps with the YouTube algorithm. Now, I'm gonna show you the basic principle with this high contrast black and white image. Now, there are two ways to quickly create your first luminosity mask. You can either go to the channels tab here and then command or control click on the RGB channel icon here. And you can already see this has created the selection for all the highlights. Or, if you don't want to go to the channels tab, you can do this with the keyboard by simply pressing Ctrl Alt 2 on Windows or Command Option 2 on Mac, and it does the exact same thing. And that's it. You just created your first selection for the highlights. This is the very foundation of luminosity masks. If, on the other hand, you wanted to create a selection for the shadows, you still create this first selection and then with Command Shift I, you just invert it. It really is this simple. But if you want to take full advantage of the luminosity masks, then it's better to save the selection first. So let's undo this and let's save the selection. Go to Select in the menu, Save Selection, and then name it Highlights. Don't change anything else in the panel. It's going to create a new channel. Click OK, and then in the Channels tab, you will see this new channel called the Highlights 1, which is basically the selection. From here, you could also duplicate the channel, call it Shadows 1, and invert it. There you go, new luminosity mask for the shadows in just one click. To create one for the mid-tones is a bit more convoluted, but it's fairly easy when you've already created the highlights and the shadows ones. So you hit Command or Control A to select the whole image, and then Control Alt click on the highlights thumbnail, and also Control Alt click on the shadows thumbnail. You're gonna get this message, which you can ignore, just hit OK, and then again select Save Selections, Mid Tones. And there you go, this is your mid tone selection. So now you have it highlights, shadows, and mid tones. And if you want to further refine these selections, let's say that you want only the very brightest part of the image, not all the highlights, what you can do is control click on the highlights icon and then control alt shift click on this very same thumbnail. And then again, select save selection. This time it's going to be highlights two and it's going to be a refined version of Highlights 1. So this is Highlights 1, this is Highlights 2. In white are the areas that are selected and in black are the areas that are not selected. Black conceals, white reveals is what you need to keep in mind. So you can see that Highlights 2 has slightly less white areas than Highlights 1. And how that you know how to create these selections and these new channels? Let's see how you can use them. The whole process I just described is merely a way to create new selections. And I'm gonna show you how to use these selections to apply any change to your images. So for this image, I already created the channels. I could refine further, but these are the ones that I believe will be useful for this specific image. And you can see this was a beautiful sunrise, but it's a bit flat for now. Now for the purpose of this video, I'm only gonna show you some quick adjustments and I'm going to select highlights one by control clicking on the thumbnail, just to show you how I would make the colors really pop. So back to the image, I'm going to create a new adjustment layer for vibrance, let's say, this could be a good example. And because I have this selection active, when I click on the vibrance adjustment layer, it's gonna create a new layer with the mask already applied, which I can quickly show you here by pressing Alt Option and clicking on the mask. And that's why they call luminosity masks, because I'm applying a mask based on the selection that I created earlier. When using masks, always remember that white reveals, black conceals. So everything that is bright shows you the area where I will be applying the adjustment. And I'm going to slide the vibrance all the way to the right to show you the difference that this makes. We'll push the saturation as well. 
Now this of course is way too much, now it looks fake, but it is to show you that I've applied the changes only to the areas that I selected in the mask, which were the highlights. All the dark parts of the image are not affected at all, the shadows are still the same. Now if I wanted for example to lift the shadows, I would go back to the channels and select probably shadows 2 or even 3, so that the clouds are not affected. You can see here that the clouds are almost completely black. So I'm going to control click on the thumbnail of shadows 3, go back to the layer, create a new adjustment layer for the curves, which will then have the shadows 3 mask applied. And now I can just crush the shadows a little bit. I'm gonna do it a lot so you can see the difference. And now I've done this adjustment only on the shadows without touching anything I have done earlier to the clouds. And this is the real power of luminosity masks. If I were to try to do these selections manually, it would be a real pain. Say for example that I want to only select the highlights in the water here. This would not be an easy selection, but it is with luminosity masks. And this has lots of different applications. This is mostly used in landscape photography, but it can be used in cityscape, architecture, even street photography, or in fashion, and so on and so forth. Once you know how to create these selections, it's really up to your creativity. So this is it, the easy way to create luminosity masks with no plugins in Photoshop. I hope this video helped you, and if it did, make sure you give it a like, and also don't forget to subscribe and click the notification button so you don't miss other tricks and tricks in Photoshop, Lightroom and other editing software, as well as my photo journeys around. For example, if you want to see my POV street photography in London, make sure you check my other videos. And that's it, see you next time!